What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Just the Keys. As always, I am Will the Comic Beast and today we are taking a look at all the keys coming out on the June 7th new comic book day. And if you watched last week's Just the Keys, you know that I changed the video up a little bit and all of you seem to like it. You seem to all enjoy it. So we're going to keep with that format and uh, yeah, I hope you just keep enjoying it. So today we're going to be taking a look at all the keys that are going to be coming out books that you should keep an eye out for on the upcoming new comic book day, and what books I plan on getting. But before we get into that, smash that subscribe. We are 20 subscribers away from 1,000. I was really hoping that we get to 1,000 by the time I'm recording this video, but we came up just a little bit short, but it's okay. We're going to get there very soon, and, you know, just keep up this heart, the support. It really means a lot, and I'm just I just really appreciate it. And make sure you go and check out my eBay page. I got a ton of shirts out, and I also got a ton of Harley Davidson shirts that I just picked up yesterday. These are all made in America. They're all vintage Harley Davidson shirts, which are going to be coming up shortly. And make sure you go and check out my Instagram page, which has more shirts on it right now. I'm in the process of transferring everything over to my eBay page, but I still have all of it up on my Instagram page for all of you to go and check out. Smash that subscribe, and let's get into this week's video. Alright, so the keys that are coming out on the June 7th, the new comic book day, are Star Wars issue number 35, which is the first full appearance of Dr. Kuwata. We also have Groot issue number 2, which is the first appearance of Eggs, a monster that destroyed Groot's homeworld. We also have Static Team-Up Anansi issue number 1, which is the first appearance of Anansi in comic books, who was previously introduced in the Static animated series. We also have Steelworks issue number one, is which is a book that I'm really looking forward to getting. I think it's a pretty cool character, and I really hope that this issue number one hits hard. And this is the possible first cameo appearance of Silver Mist. And another one that looks really cool that I'm definitely going to be grabbing is Deadpool Batter Blood issue number one, which is the first appearance of Shatterstorm. So there's uh, five key books coming out this week, and they all look pretty cool, and I'm definitely going to be checking most of them out. And now moving on to the books that you should keep an eye out for. We got Star Wars Darth Vader Black, White, and Red, the second print. But I also wanted to make mention that there is a 1 in 25 second printing on that book. Um, which is, they're both very cool covers. I, I per personally prefer the 1 in 25 variant over the just regular second print. I think it's pretty cool how they use the white negative space type of feel to it. And I really like that cover. Up next, we got Flash issue number 800. This is one that you should keep an eye out for because it's a big anniversary issue. You know, every time, like, it's very rare that you come across books that are hundreds of issues deep. And we got Flash issue number 800, which is an anniversary issue. And I also wanted to make mention of the big time collectibles foil variants. There's a red one that looks pretty cool. And there's a platinum edition. And hopefully I can get my hands on these sometime. I, I know they're pretty simple and basic, but I think they're still pretty cool. I think those would be cool wall books to have. And next one is Venom issue number 20, which is a milestone issue for a smaller series. And I really think that it's a solid read, and I'm definitely going to be grabbing that one. So the next one that's coming out that you should keep an eye out for is Something Epic issue number one, the second printing. There's two of them. There's an action comics homage, and there's the Terminator homage, which I think are both very cool. I definitely want to grab both of them. You know, I really enjoyed reading issue number one. I talked about talked about it on my reviews about this kid who has a super uh, big imagination. He sees these creatures um, and characters that are really cool and fascinating. And if you haven't read something epic, issue number one, I highly recommend you to go and check that book out. And the next one is Vampirella, the premium metal virgin variant. <laughs> there is nothing specific about this. I just wanted to give it a shout out. And up next, we got Power Hour 2, and I just wanted to show two vir virgin variants on this one, which, you know, personally, I'm looking at them right now, and, you know, you know, you see, you see these two covers right here. Personally, if you ask me, there's nothing virgin about these covers right here. But those are all the books that you should keep an eye out for. Now let's move on to what I plan on getting. So what I plan on getting, I get, I plan on getting Batman issue number 136. You know, Batman 135 was not the best read. I wasn't enjoying it, and it was probably the worst one in Chip Starsky's run on Batman so far. So I hope he puts his foot back on the gas and really delivers and shows why he's such a great writer on issue number 136. I also plan on getting Daredevil issue number 12, which is a series that I'm still really liking. Um, Chip Zdarsky is killing it on Daredevil. I think he always kills it on Daredevil. Um, I think that he was made to write that character, and I think it's just a very solid read. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what's going on in issue number 12. 
And up next, I talked about this one earlier on. It's Venom issue number 20. This is another series that I've been really enjoying. I'm definitely going to go pick this one up. You know, like I said in every reviews video, since issue number 14, this series has been blowing me away. And obviously, we got to go with Dark Knights of Steel issue number 11. This is a 12 issue limited series. And we got one more issue coming out, which will be next month. But this series has some of the best art out there right now. It's. I mean, the interior art is just incredible. I love the art inside of this book, and I'm definitely looking forward to picking this one up and see what happens. Um, next, we got Spawn, issue number 342. Huge Spawn fan. I absolutely love Spawn. I love Todd McFarlane, and I'm definitely going to be picking this one up um, and continuing reading it because I think it's just a very fun, action-packed, entertaining read. And the art in this book is also incredible, and I'm just a huge Spawn fan in general, and everyone knows that. And another one that I got turned on to by it of a viewer of the channel is shazam issue number two i was a week late to issue number one and i went and grabbed it and i really enjoyed issue number one so i'm definitely going to be looking forward to issue number two you know we got to see shazam kind of turn to the dark side as a cliffhanger in issue number one so i'm really looking forward to see what happens in issue number two i think they're going to pick up right where they left off and it should be really fun and another book that i'm really looking forward to is red goblin issue number five the first four issues have been absolutely solid Every single issue was really good. Now that Joe Fix It is over, I probably have to say that Red Goblin is my favorite series right now for Marvel. I'm really enjoying it. I absolutely love the art inside of this book, and I'm really looking forward to getting issue number five and see what happens. Up next was Loki issue number one. This is a four issue limited series, and I'm I'm looking forward to this one. You know, the last one that I read was a pretty solid issue, a pretty solid series, I should say, and I really enjoyed it. And that was one of the only comics my brother has ever read was that previous loki series he has never read any other comics and i just don't think it's his thing but that's all right we all have our own interests and he just loves skateboarding and up next i'm getting steelworks issue or i plan on getting steelworks issue number one i think he's a pretty cool character like i mentioned earlier the one thing about this i do not like the cover a at all i think it's brutal it's not good and i'm just not a fan of this cover so i really hope i can get a good variant cover of this one um but it should be a solid read and i'm looking forward to reading it and the last book that i plan on getting is deadpool issue number one um this one just looks badass i've never really read a deadpool series even though i think he's such an awesome character you know I i've obviously picked up uh books here and there that have deadpool on it just because of the cover or whatever but this will probably be my first actual series that I'm reading of him. And I know it's a lot of books than what I usually get. Before I go to an actual new comic book day, I like base everything. I like, you know, kind of make a rough draft of what I want to get. And then I'll cut off the fat and really decide on what I want to get. And before I wrap up the show, I just want to ask, is anybody reading uh, The Curse of Cleaver County? I was just scrolling through the list of books that are coming out on the June 7th new comic book day. And I just came across this one and I noticed that there were three or four issues in. But I thought it was pretty cool looking. I absolutely love horror comic books. So if you're reading this, is it worth it? Is it good? Let me know in the comments below. I just think it's pretty interesting just looking at it. All right, everyone, there you have it. Those are all the keys that you need to go after on the June 7th new comic book day. And I also showed you everything that you should keep an eye out for as well as everything that I'm getting. What are you getting? Leave it in the comments below. Feel free to start a whole conversation in the comments. Or reply to someone's comment and just tell try and make a conversation about what you're getting so thank you all for watching this week's video i hope you all enjoyed it we are so close to a thousand subscribers we are at the time of recording this 20 subscribers away we are so close i want to get to that 1000 and i just want to say thank you for all the support it means the world to me and one last thing before you all go make sure you go check out my ebay page i got a ton of stuff on there and i got even more on my instagram shop all for great pi prices and, you know, all the money that I get in return is going back to go after my comic book grail. So help me get my comic book grail. There, once again, there's going to be no reviews for the next two weeks. So I got graduation, I got banquet, and I got a ton of stuff going on. So I won't have time to bring you the reviews, which is very unfortunate. I love bringing you the reviews. But thank you all for watching. I'm Will, the Comic Beast, and I'll catch you next time. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless, I don't wanna be one of the nameless, I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it, and I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations, don't try to stop me, I exist to write my own story, I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory, yeah.